So here we are once again. If you haven't seen the house tour of the space, go back and check it out. It's an incredible before and after, and you'll wanna see it to get the full context. But this, this is a shopping tour, and I'm gonna take you through the house and tell you where everything is from. Follow along. So when they redid the entrance, they decided to go really impactful with the tile. And these tiles are from Centura. They also wanted to create a really cool moment right as you come in. So they went with a pedestal table. This is custom. So the base is from Etsy, believe it or not. And then they custom made a stone top. And then of course, a fabulous stylist came in and made it pretty. At the front of the house, you have a living dining area. This is the entertainment zone. I love that they put paneling on the wall so now you could really frame this art. The art is from Celadon. The candle sconces are from CB2. That incredible mirror, which is 60 inches in diameter, is from Plata, which you can find at your local retailers. The table and chairs are from Sunpan, once again, carried through most furniture stores. And the sparkling chandelier is available through Union Lighting. One of my favorite pieces, this sort of like kidney shaped rug is custom made and was found on Etsy. The table is from Urban Barn. This super sexy little boucle chair is from Wayfair, believe it or not. And my guys, Element Baz from Montreal, they custom made this really cool curved couch, which are amazing because they are actually slip covered. So you can remove that and pick your color, change the fabric, very useful, but also so chic looking. This same tile is the one that is in the entrance, which is Centura. And then believe it or not, <laughs> this bar cart is from Lowe's. Yes, your local hardware store. <laughs> Beautiful props from CB2. And once again, art from Celadon. Now in the family room, which is shared with the kitchen, is definitely the room where they spent the most money. Sun pan chairs, a Renwell rug, the fireplace is Napoleon, and the beautiful tile surround is from Stone Tile. We've got a CB2 lamp, a really cool arched bookcase from Wayfair, and an ottoman from CB2. And of course, you need those accessories, right? The accessories really make it. And here we've got some CB2 pillows in the dark green and contrasting pillows from Wills and Pryor, which is a local shop in Stratford. Now the kitchen, the kitchen. So these chairs, they are stunning. They are CB2, they are worth every penny. The light fixture is custom, super cool. Countertop is from Lucent Quartz. The appliances are great. They're all smart appliances. The fridge and stove are from Samsung. And of course, it's not a fancy kitchen without a wine fridge, and that's from Gomans. The kitchen is beautiful in two-tone. The faux wood is from Uniboard, and the beautiful dove gray uppers are from Egger. And what I love about them is they don't show fingerprints. The in-law suite. So we must talk about this stunning wallpaper. This is from Temp Paper and it comes in many colorways. This is peel and stick, which is very easy to apply and remove. The side tables I love because they don't block the wallpaper. Those are from West Elm. The lamps, total save here. These are from HomeSense. The bed is Sun Pan, which you can find through Wayfair. The light fixture on top, sparkling, this is Renwell. The bedding is Crate and Barrel, and the accent pillows are Tonic Living and From the Bay. So the office is small and mighty, but they kept a really nice flow with this desk from Sunpan. Sunpan chairs, nice and comfortable. This is a great find from Wayfair. It's got that nice almond color, so it doesn't look cheap. It's not that bright white. The side table lamps, they look super expensive, but they're Urban Barn and Celadon for the art. Oh, and this lighting. This lighting is available at Union. The principal bedroom. It all started with this wall covering from York. The light fixture is from Renwell. The dresser and bedside tables are from Structube. The lamps are from a shop called V2V -V in Toronto, which you can buy online. They are the prettiest shade of moss. The art above the lamps is from Wills and Pryor in Stratford, Ontario. And the king size bed is from Noah, which is an e-com brand. 
So the bedding is from the Bay. It's the Gluckstein collection. There is HomeSense linens under there as well in the white. And we've got a mix of pillows from Tonic Living and from the Bay. Looks very chic huge bench which they found on Wayfair. The chairs, believe it or not, are Wayfair. And then this little table is struck tube. And I love how they put it together with a nice soft poof, which is from Tonic Living in Toronto. So gorgeous. The principal bathroom is stunning. We've got tile from Stone Tile, the same that's on the fireplace in the family room. The freestanding tub is from Wayfair. The vanity is Gluckstein Home, available at the Home Depot, guys. Look at this fluting. And the torches and the Kippies light are available through Union Lighting. The oversized piece of art, which comes framed, is from Celadon. The teenager's bedroom, it has just the right amount of color. I love that they went with a full blue bed. This is from Structube, as are the side tables and the side table lamps. The art is Renwill, and then a really cool little accessory in yellow. That is from HomeSense. The bedding is HomeSense. The duvet cover is HomeSense. It's actually the house and home line. And it's this beautiful kind of cotton linen mix. Very cool bedroom. I love this kid's bedroom. And the whole palette centers on this gray and dusty pink. We've got this stunning canopy. It's all about the canopy. That is from Pottery Barn. It's a bit of a splurge but worth every penny. The bed, I love that it's that kind of mauve pink. The whole thing is upholstered and that is from Wayfair. The bedding is Ikea. The tufted detail makes it very pretty. And all of the throw pillows are from HomeSense, as is the poof. I love this, it's like Cousin It. The wallpaper is peel and stick, available through the Home Depot. Side tables are Sunpan and these beautiful lamps are HomeSense. So it's a bit of save, bit of splurge. The guest bedroom. This is beautiful, mostly because of this stunning wallpaper, which is available through the Home Depot. Once again, peel and stick, right? Non-committal. The bed, which is actually beige, is from Wayfair, but they covered the headboard with a blanket to give it this really custom look. Now the bedding is Home Sense, beautiful coverlet. The bedside tables are Sun Pan, and the lamps, again, Home Sense. So like cheap and cheerful. Also an Ikea pillow, you would never know. <laughs> the guest room bathroom has a faux arabescato porcelain tile and that is from Centura. And once again, they went with a Gluckstein vanity from the Home Depot. They just changed out the knobs because these were originally silver. Very elegant. The karaoke room. So this one is cheap and cheerful. You've got temp paper on the perimeter and that once again is a peel and stick. It looks fantastic. The couches are Structube, the rug is Ikea, the coffee table is Ikea, the console is Structube, we've got some home sense lamps. I mean, who wouldn't want a party down here? We've got some really good high and lows in the rec room because, you know, you're not gonna splurge down here, it's a basement. The couch is from Ikea, believe it or not. The rug and coffee table are from Wayfair. This little fuzzy chair is from Structube and was very affordable. The art is Celadon, so a bit pricier, but you know, that might make it somewhere else into the home eventually. This lamp, like how good is this lamp? This was home sense. We've got some really cool accessories from EQ3. Another fake plant, because obviously no windows here. So this is a fake plant from Decor Verano. Love these gold mushroom lamps. These were a little pricier from Renwell, which you can find at your local decor shop. And uh, the classic Besta, you know, if you stack them, they look really chic. This is a really good console unit for under $300. And then some good art from Renwell. The games table and chairs from Wayfair. Some really cool accessories from EQ3 and Indigo. And a great oversized piece of art from Sunpan. And this cute little modern fixture is from Union Lighting. So ping pong tables are usually kind of ugly and actually the standard size is too big for this room. But if you're just gonna play with a friend, you can just get a dining table. This is from Structube and then get yourself a kit to mount your ping pong net. <laughs> and this is all you need. 
We've got some art, which we purchased through Etsy and framed them in Ikea posters because it's a basement and it looks cool. Now, if you had your eye on some of the accessories, they are all from CB2, Crate & Barrel, EQ3, Indigo, HomeSense, and Ikea. So happy shopping. Now, I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you took inspiration from all of these pieces and can add some of them into your own home.